This has been an ongoing issue between the City of Midland and the Midland Fire Department, where plans on how to fix the firefighters' pension problem have not gone smooth. Now, both sides seek a solution to this decades-long issue. The city asks the best, they require the best, they deserve the best. So let's make that happen. Let's keep the best. Let's not lose mass numbers. We campaign for you. We block block for you. We don't want your campaigns. Um, you know, and that's not something we take lightly as an association. When we meet, normally the deciding factor over the last few years at least has been this person gives us the best chance to fix our retirement. Uh, you know, we're here two years later, pretty much in the same boat that we were when we started those campaigns, re elections even. The issue here stems from the Midland Firemen's Relief and Retirement Fund being underfunded by $120 million. That fund is an infinite amortization status, which means it is set to lower in value over time, but it's still not low enough for the city to pay it off. As a way to find a solution, firefighters voted to reduce their own benefits last year, related to the city's use of mandatory overtime in fire stations. The cost of the firemen's pension were also rising, which were never paid out by the city. For Mayor Lori Blong, she sees fixing the problem as one of her top priorities during her tenure as mayor. This has been ignored by city councils and mayors for a long time, um, but it is really important to each of us as council members to solve for this. We, we value our firefighters. We need the job that they do for our community. We want their families to feel supported, and so we have to get this solved. Former Midland Fire Chief Chuck Blumenauer, who is now the current public safety manager for Midland, sees both sides working it out. I, I'm 100% confident that, that from the city management side that we'll, we'll get there. Uh, I, and as a former firefighter, I, I understand um, wanting to understand what your retirement benefit is going to be uh, and wanting to protect that. But I also think there's room for us to make changes on both sides that get us to that goal that are really unpainful for everybody. Although no plans were discussed on the future of these firefighters' pensions, both sides did agree that some progress was made. Reporting in studio, Jesse Zaragoza, ABC, Big 2 News.